three years ago now almost. It was a great big old empty lot full of ponds and mud and we partnered um, with the city. Um, decided that we wanted to build something beautiful here for people to feel proud of and to make the neighborhood look nicer and give a place for sanctuary and creativity and camaraderie. I think the neighborhood is really intrigued by it. There's a bus stop right up at the corner that there's always people waiting there and asking us questions and when harvest time comes of course it's a it's a really different place, way more activity and um, we have people coming to the fence asking if they could have a tomato and this kind of thing. And sure, sure you can. The dream that people have for Macaulay and all of the gardens is really to keep them flourishing, to keep the gardens operating so that the people who most benefit from them can continue to benefit long term for sustainability. Everyone is welcome to garden, children to people who are homeless to people who walk the streets. And I think that's the joy of working in an area like this, that it's a very welcoming community. You have businesses, you have an active area in each of the streets where they participate on a regular basis in safety issues and concerns and helpful activity that create a greater sense of visibility in the area. So that makes a big difference in fighting crime, in fighting uh, the undesirable activity that exists in the community.